<laughs> what up dudes? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I consume a lot of media. I, I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of Netflix and things like that. I try to keep up to date with everything and try to consume as much knowledge as I can. Not just entertainment, I'm usually seeking out truth. And when I'm creating, I don't consume so much. I spend a lot of time making stuff. But anyway, I watched a video yesterday by my friend Stephalie. I'm always consuming media, and if I ever find anything interesting, anything worth sharing, I think I'm gonna react to it because there's so much stuff, so many great documentaries I would love to share with you guys. And this is probably the best way to do it. Also, the sun is out. It's been cloudy for the past few days. Been getting a bunch of rain. And uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice, nice to have some sun again. You guys left some lovely comments in yesterday's video. I just wanted to say thank you very much. And also, you've been smashing the like button. I appreciate that. Can we set like an unrealistic goal? Can we get like <laughs> 500 likes on this video? That would be amazing. Yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what she's done. So this video is called Six Months Ago I Was Dying, Now I'm Not. <laughs> Hello. I Hello, feel like Stephanie. I haven't sat down for a video in a long time. Boo, where are you going? You want this? Where are you going, Boo? Okay. You want your toy? Go get it. <laughs> First of all, that background is amazing. Very good. Very um, good choice. Hi. Hi. So if you've been following my series about Trikafta, which is the first ever drug to successfully treat cystic fibrosis, I, have. I did a lot of videos back on it like toward the end of last year when it came out and I haven't really done like a sit down and talk about what's happened since then. I guess if you're new here, hi, my name's Steffi Hello. and I have cystic fibrosis. Yes. It's a genetic disorder that I was born with and it causes my body to overproduce mucus, which clogs all my organs, most noticeably my lungs. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've said that so many times in yes. so many videos, yes, but I want times. people to be aware of what it is. And basically throughout my whole life, I've been in and out of the hospital. I was constantly getting lung infections that unfortunately no no matter what I did would not go away on their own, which meant I would have to get IV or oral antibiotics constantly. I would usually have antibiotics for about two weeks at a time, and for the two weeks that I'm I was on them, they would work, but as soon as I went off of them, my lung infections would come back. And yeah. basically it was just like this constant cycle of getting sick, going on antibiotics, getting sick again, going on antibiotics, and there was nothing that I could really do about it. My lung function- So I, I kind of kept quiet so she could explain it. So she has a genetic disease called cystic fibrosis. It affects the lungs primarily, which means she has lower lung capacity than most people. When I met her, she was at 60-50%, something like that. She only had about half capacity, and it gradually got worse the more we traveled together, because we traveled for like a couple of years. We've been to a bunch of continents. I think the worst it ever was, was in Portugal, because we were at a very dusty festival, and the dust must have like really messed with her lungs. And we were also doing psychedelics, so she was very energized and running around and stuff. And, those two things together probably didn't help. Last time I spoke about Steph on my main channel, everyone said I was oversharing. And I wasn't I wasn't trying to overshare, but also nothing was really that private. Like with two YouTubers that we, we hang out all the time, obviously something was going on. I wasn't trying to overshare. I didn't get into like much. I, I didn't think, I don't know. But yeah, Steph texted me after that video and said, thanks for being nice. So uh, <laughs> anyway. I wanted to react to this because it's a very positive video and it's, it gave me joy yesterday when I watched it. And I wanted to share it with you guys because you've been seeing her on this channel, you've seen her on my main channel as well. We spent a lot of time together and this is like the most positive thing that's come from her channel all year. And I wanted to share it with you guys so you can keep up to date with her as well, in case you haven't seen this yet. My lung function got as low as around 40%. It was getting to the point where I was 40%. becoming basically like disabled. I struggled to climb yeah. stairs, I struggled to talk. Some days I could barely even walk because I would struggle to breathe so bad and yeah. I would just go into coughing fits. Once your lung function gets down into like the 30s, that's about the time where doctors start talking about lung transplant, which is something that I never really wanted to do because even if I did get a lung transplant, I would still have cystic fibrosis and yeah. eventually those lungs would become just as damaged as my current lungs. And also there's a big risk with transplants the that it. eventually the lungs will reject because they're not your lungs and yeah. your body doesn't know what they so wait, are. I feel it's like a she's foreign me, object. She's I not, knew that well, at the rate my is. lungs were declining, that I lungs. only had a few years left to live. And because CF is progressive, each year was getting harder and harder. I had tried for years and years, traveling around the world, looking for some sort of like natural remedy. I tried things from psychedelics to pranayama and yoga. At the end of last year, a drug that they've been working on since like before I was even born was released in the US. Trikapta is a gene modulator, meaning it's designed 
to correct the malfunctioning protein in the CFTR gene. I documented my whole experience starting it. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link below. Basically, the first couple weeks were extremely rough. I had to go and be hospitalized because I was having such bad stomach pains. I think this was because all of my life I had built up all this mucus in my body. And once I started this drug and my cells were working normally, everything kind of just like purged out. But after that initial detox period, I felt amazing. It, it makes me sad seeing stuff like hospitalized. Uh, she, she's been in, in and out of hospital the whole time I've known her. And it's just, it's just sad because I know she's going through a lot of pain and it's not her fault. Like she was just born with this thing that's ruining her. Exactly one month after being on Trikafta, it was up to 73%. And a couple of months after that, it was up to 75%. And now it's kind of stabilized there. I'm not sure if it's ever going to get to like 100% because there is a lot of scarring in my lungs from just years of lung infections. That's okay, 100% is overrated. 75% is still really good for someone with CF. I'm able now to do things that I never dreamed that I would ever be able to do again. Like, I can run, I can laugh without going into a coughing zone. I want to see you run. I want to see a video of you running. I want to see, I, you need some proof. Start coughing, and then I would just be coughing for a couple minutes, and it, it was annoying. Also, now I can talk louder and clearer and faster. A lot of people have pointed that out. Before, yeah. it was so hard to talk because I just couldn't get enough air. I also don't have to do my nebulizer treatments at all anymore. I wake up in the morning, and I can take a deep breath, which is something that I wasn't able to do before. In the past, I would wake up in the morning, and my lungs would be so full of mucus just from what accumulated overnight so when I would stand up I would just cough and cough and sometimes it would last an hour or two and then I would have to do my nebulizer which would take like 30 to 45 minutes each yeah. time and I would have to do that twice a day just to be so able to this is some footage that I filmed in Asia yeah every morning and every night she would have to do this nebulizer thing where she just breathes into it for half an hour to an hour. It's such a process. So much of her time just being stolen by it, just doing basic medica Medicare. I didn't think that she would ever be able to stop and now she's says that she doesn't have to do it anymore. That's like, that's so cool. And I take my pills. Trichafta is two pills in the morning and one in the evening. And that's basically all I have to do throughout the day. I don't have to do breathing treatments anymore. I don't have to, you have no idea how exhausting it is to spend so much time coughing yeah. and how painful it can be. It's just awful. And I'm so glad that I don't have to really experience that anymore. Like yeah. sometimes every one meal that a normal person would eat, I would have two or three meals. My friends would see me eating and be like shocked by how much I could eat, but I had- Yup, yup, Steph eats so much. Yes, Steph eats so much food. It's kind of hilarious, but I, I understand why she has to eat so much food. It's because she wasn't absorbing the nutrients. It just kind of goes straight through her. So I can imagine like now trying to become normal again after that is probably difficult. Oh, nice stick, dude. So those are all the positives that I've experienced so far. Nice. Which is like, there's a lot of positives for sure. But there are some negatives. Here. And like any drug, there are side effects. And I've definitely experienced some of them. <laughs> there's also the risk of liver problems, which is a common side effect with Trikafta. It can cause liver enzymes to get too high, which can result in liver failure. And so I have to go into the hospital every couple of months to get a blood test and to check on my liver enzymes. So far... That kind of worries me because this drug is kind of new. She said they've been working on it since before she was even born so like they've obviously done a lot of testing but I feel like it's only now been released to the public and it kind of worries me that these guys are lab rats that's the, the the beast of CF is like you don't really have a choice CF people have a very limited lifespan and un unlike us they don't they don't really get a choice in whether they get old I can see the kind of urgency and just wanted to try something I completely get it and it just just drugs in general worry me especially pharmaceutical pharmaceutical stuff because we don't know the side effects yet. There has to be a lot of testing and like Steph's like being brave and actually going for it. Testing this thing out for other people. Like in the future there will prob probably be like Trikafta 2 or Trikafta 3 and that one might like completely get rid, rid of everything. With a drug so new it's kind of hard to predict the long term side effects so I kind of yeah, just have exactly. to take care of my body the best I can and yeah. hope for the best. I've noticed that I'm more forgetful than I used to be. Like sometimes I'll do something one minute and then the next minute I'll have no idea if I did that or not. Like. I'll take my pill and then I completely have no idea if I took it. I can't say for certain loss. if it's related to Trikafta, but I didn't have this problem before that, so I worry that maybe it is affecting my brain in some way. A couple of my liver experiences problems or something and I have to stop. My lung function would drop back down to what it was before, if not lower, and 
I would die, so that scares me. All that being said, right. there are <laughs> okay. side the good definitely outweighs the bad. I'm really grateful to have access to this drug and to like now be able to live a life without so many limits. I think about how happy my mom would be if she knew how well I was doing now because she fought so hard for CF and she donated Team so much Steffi. money. And it's because of people like her that the funding was provided so that we could find something like this to help people with Steph's CF. Steph's mom seems so cool. But yeah, and I wanted to give you guys this update video. And I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye. All right, thank you, Steffi. So I'm not gonna show the whole video here. I'll just react to the bits where I actually said something. Uh, yeah, go watch the video down below. It's a great video. I'm very happy that my friend isn't dying anymore. I didn't know that she had CF when I met her. Like she, she told me that like after we'd already been talking for ages. And I guess it's like one of those things you don't really want to drop on people that you're about to meet because then decide if they want to have a friend and get close to someone that that could potentially just die randomly. But then any of us could die. So what does it matter? Anyway, Steph's like one of the coolest people I've ever met. I'm very happy to know her. And I'm glad that we are on good terms. Like, I would hate to lose Steph as, as a friend. It, it makes me happy that science is progressing in this department in the correct way. Yeah. Like, CF is so specific. It only targets, like, a small, small percentage of humans. And, yeah, I'm just happy that Steph is okay. She looks very well and healthy in this video. I just wanted to kind of broadcast that to you guys on the second channel because you've seen her so much in these videos. Uh, if you don't know Steph at all, then go back in my channel a couple of years and you, you'll find all the Asia videos that we did together even some of the American vlogs that we did together. Yeah, I'd, I would like to see her again sometime. She's kind of sticking around in America for the moment in case she needs to go to hospital for any reason. If she decides to come back over here if I, or if I go over there, I would love to hang out again. Yeah, go show her some love on that video. Like, go spam her with some comments. Say, uh, happy you're alive. Like, that's something people like to hear. Yeah, just some positivity for you guys today. If you didn't see me yesterday's video, I opened up eight-year-old fan mail. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Link is uh, here on the screen. Steffi's video is here also. You can subscribe and here's my latest main channel video. That is everything from me. Thank you so much. Bye.